Jake and Julie again here uh, out in the ranch. We're gonna do some cowboy talk. These are land. That's our land. All right, let's move. Now here, Casey. Casey, look at the camera lens. There you go. Oh, howdy, folks. Yeah, now here, tell us about how these acorns got here on the, on the, on the ground there. Now, you see here, this acorn's already grown a root. They, yep, root in the ground. And it's gonna grow a tree. Now, kids, this is a very important lesson from uh, Jake to you. Now, uh, you all know, have heard, have heard of uh, poison ivy. Here, here's some right here, right here. Look at this. See that? One, two, three big leaves. Now you all know the same. Leaves of three, please touch me. Now you can touch it and it's completely fine. Yes, because it's not poison ivy. No, it is. It may burn or itch, it but it's says completely poison fine. Just to scare the hawks away so exactly. it doesn't eat it. That's a little hidden, hidden trinket. Now these rocks! Nugget of gold. Now, kid, listen up here. This, uh, what you're looking at here, appears to be some sort of home or habitat for a squirrel or a badger, but believe me, it is not. This is a man-made habitat, and this is very bad for nature, because even though it looks very real, we can assure you it's not, so we want to kind of tear this away, so any fake animals that live in here, yeah. Yeah. the green light. There we go. That's good enough. Right out. It's just another part of our job, taking care of nature. Go green. And most importantly, kids, when you when you're planting something in the ground, like this right here, maybe planting some leaves, you know, just like a child, you want to nurture it and care for it. Yeah. But also, you don't want to spoil it. So sometimes you got to get rough. You know, when they're not growing right, you got to yell at them. Hey, there, Stewart! Come out of the ground. There you go. There you go. Look, there, pink tree just popped up over there. Just got to give the yell a good smack sometimes. Every time. Oh yeah, give the ground a good whooping. Yeah. Now we walk this path day after day, and uh, over time you can see the trail <laughs> gets worn and worn and worn. Just like just like the Grand Canyon was formed. People kept walking the same trail every day, and one day it just all fell down. And that's what we're trying to do here. Very good, Ed. Gun poop. How did this get here? Coming to the crime scene of a tree fight. You can see a bunch of trees laid down on the ground there. That's uh, something big went down. You can see even the survivor of the big fight is still bruised and broken. We uh, we hold you in our prayers and thoughts. Yeah, that tree will live much longer though. He will. You know, whoever wants to they spring right back. They just it's pop right back up. Daisies. Daisies. I have another myth for you that I'd like to uh, range through truth and light and all that stuff. Many people see this here and they think it's harmful to the tree. And they think that another human did it. That is not true. What this is is called graffiti. Kind of like graffiti but on a tree. And the tree actually does it to himself. You can see here it says uh, Mo and Chris. That means this tree is Mo. And probably that tree right there it's Chris. Here's a little dating advice for all you young whippersnappers out there. You want to compliment the woman with uh, things like, you are full of those green, beautiful nutrients. It makes them feel good about themselves. Now, this here is a very important spot in America, and it is very true in American history. If you look down this way here, that's the way we came. That comes back from Montana. Now look over here. You go that way, you'll hit Mexico, and uh, Russia or China? China. China. Yeah. And then if you keep going that way, you'll hit Utah. That's where we're headed. Hmm. All right, let's go, everybody. Off to Utah. Utah. Now, this here is one of my favorite trees. Um, you want to be careful. It's very fragile. It smells perfect. It smells always gonna be perfect. But you want to be careful because you know if the leaves fall off, then oh no, oh dear. Yeah, this one's a goner. He's dead. There goes some trespassers on our ranch. Why do they keep coming upon our trail here? I don't know. It's bothersome. Well, the earth is very kind. It lets us walk on top of its head all day. And we must be very kind to the back. So we like to serenade it with some uh, lovely songs. Let, let, me, let me find my note. <laughs> well, the earth The earth is so kind to us. The reason we put up the sign that says public trail, not because it is a public trail, which it is not, it is our ranch. 
Um, but in Latin, it means uh, land of the beautiful. Right? Yeah. Or was it Greek? I don't know. Actually, I think it was Spanish. In Greek, it means tread me not. Maybe it's the, the combination of Spanish and Greek. Like, you might be both. Greekish. But that's the reason. Greekish. Look at that, Casey. This, what do you think that is, that deer poop? This is deer poop. I, yeah. This would be a young fawn deer. Yeah, probably two days old, maybe. Maybe. Two days, maybe three. Mm -hmm. Oh, now here's one of those beautiful single-leaf trees. These are these are definitely one of my favorite types of trees. But you, you want to be careful with these, remember, because they might... <laughs> Dead gum! Walking through the forest now, walking through the forest now, walking through the forest now, walking, yeah, yeah. Now this here's a doohickey. What you want to do to get it started? Hit the flat bottom, then you put the bottom on them, and then you twist it around, get a little kick, and she dig it, gets running just like that. This is what we use to keep the tree in its prime state. Let's go. We're coming to the spot where we're going to show you is the best way to bury your great grandmother's aunt sister's dead cat. This is where we uh, take the cat so far. So I mean, oh, oh, no. sorry about that. Now this is the part where Mother Nature is kicking you in the behind, basically telling you, "You're fat. You're behind fat. You need exercise." That's right. Curse you, Mother Nature! Man, I'm feeling the burn now. Dogs are probably the worst thing you can bring on this trail. Now, oh my goodness, what? Hello. Hi, little puppy. Well, how's it going? Okay. So as I say, dogs are probably the worst thing to have on the trailer. And now that we've reached the end, uh, we'd like to share with you uh, what to do when you find your neighbor dead in your field.